What's up, Rangers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name is Ernest. And today we are not going over Godzilla, or Gamera, or Mothra, or any Daikaiju films. <laughs> he doesn't mean that. Yeah, I do. I think he does. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to watch Mothra or Gamera anymore. I'm so done. Yeah, we're going to go away from... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Gotta do this the proper way. There we go. Oh! Oh, he's hurt. You're always holding Gabra. We switched. It's a proper movie, man. But it's Gabra. It's like your spirit. It. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we don't do other reviews that aren't monster related. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <sighs> Get back over here. Today boy. we're going over the film Alien. Uh, I don't know if we ever got footage in this video. I think we're just going to talk about it because everybody's seen Alien. Who if you haven't, the there's going to be spoilers in this, just to warn you. It's the main reason why we're not. I see. What year was Alien made? 79? Ah, <sighs> what was the budget for this movie, Steve? Oh, fudge. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say like 7 million. Ooh, close. 9 million. But, here comes a kick in the nuts. I watched this movie yesterday. I think, or the day before. Again. It's been about, I want to say a couple weeks for me. I did watch it fairly recently. I'm going to watch Aliens because that's one of those movies like I just watch it whenever. And I I got to say, dude, I, I was like, I remember watching this as a kid. I peed myself. Like, I didn't sleep for like two days. Watching it t uh, yesterday, I was like, how was I afraid of this? Well, all right. So before we fully get into this, because I want to talk about that too. If you guys haven't seen Alien, it's about a crew of... Oh, what the heck did they actually do? They were, uh, they were miners. Yup. They, uh, coming back from a job, they get a distress signal. They go down to the planet LB-426. They find a wrecked alien ship, decide to investigate it, and bad things happen. That was a weak summary of movie, Steve. A well, crew of seven people get woken up early, six months early, or six weeks, I'm not sure. It's a six. Six I, weeks. I want to say it was months. They get woken up early anyways, and uh, the mother woke them up because she released, uh, she gained a signal where she yep. had to wake up the crew. They had to go investigate it. They go down the planet. They found a ship. And the derelict. Shenanigans begins from there. So that's exactly what I said. You just kind of explained the one little part. Yeah, <laughs> mine's slightly better. better. Uh, uh. Kane was the one that got the face hugger attached to his face. <gasps> he knows your name. What? I know, it's like it's like English names I'm okay with. <laughs> it's the foreign ones I get confused a bit. You know what the weird thing is? It's like the uh what do they call those people now since we've seen Prometheus? The engineers? Yeah, the engineers. He was sitting there in a chair and a chest burster burst out of him. Yeah. How, how come we never seen that in a ship? Well that's what I was hoping Prometheus would explain. Yeah. But, like, at the beginning of the movie, they already tell you that they're not on the planet. So it's like, uh, this isn't going to help me at all, is it? Nope. And, and, he had his mask on. How did a facehugger get to him? Well, it would have impregnated him beforehand, I would imagine. Because in different life forms, the gestation period varies. Now, we all seen Prometheus, or at least 10% of us did. We all seen We saw it in the theaters. Yeah. Ugh. We all seen how huge that thing is. I'm pretty sure somebody would have found like a dead corpse or something of that thing in a ship. Yeah, but okay. So another thing too, was we're getting really off track on the movie <laughs> review. But this is a slightly interesting conversation. You can keep up with us in the comment section below. Well, later. But in Prometheus, he gets attacked by the giant octopus face hugger thing that literally goes tentacle hentai porn on him. So, what would have gotten the engineer inside of the ship? And then also, what happened to the thing that got the engineer inside of the ship? Because, to my understanding, he was transporting the eggs. Yeah. Because, uh, if I remember one book correctly, they would transport them to sell them to other species. Because that's how the predators would get theirs. Yeah. Don't quote me on it, but if I remember reading, because I used to read some of the books, that, that happens. But. What happened? Yeah, what, what got what? him? 
Why is there so much missing? I need to know these things. That'd be a good idea for, like, a new alien is actually, like, find the thing that came out of the engineer. That'd be cool. Anyways, back to Alien. Because for the plot, it's beautiful. It's awesome. I love the story. It's one of the only horror movies I've ever seen where I actually care about the characters. Except for one, I really hate the one girl. The oh. other girl that isn't Ripley. That I don't remember her name. <laughs> it's okay, we don't have to remember her name. She's not that important. God, she, I just found her annoying. <laughs> I can't leave us out there. <laughs> Even if they, like, we were just playing Alien Isolation not too long ago. I was just like, God, make her stop. Why does she have to rephrase her role? <laughs> Lambert. Her name is Lambert. We Googled it. But yeah, like most of the other characters are awesome. Because you have Dallas, who appears to be the main character throughout the majority of the movie. Appears. He dies. Well, sorry. If you watch the special edition with extra scenes, you find out what happened to Dallas. Which is slightly confusing in the context of the movie, which I understand why they cut it. Because why would it be cocooning people if there's no queen? So, eh. Yeah, that's like the one of the parts I was going to talk about is that part. I get it. The alien is born. Yep. It's only one of its kind. But it's still doing its basic instinct, what it's supposed to do. Collect people for the queen when the eggs hatch. And that's what it was doing, you know. Like, yeah. I get it. But then if you go by, like, the mythology, too, like, <clears throat> in, like say if there's no queen, an alien would kind of like a frog. I believe they become a queen eventually. Yeah. It doesn't have, have to hatch out of, like, what is it, a queen facehugger or whatever. Yeah. They can change sex, essentially. Yeah. I think. So, like, I get what it was doing but then yet i get why they cut it out because people at that time when that movie came out they wouldn't have known that would have just been weird yeah it was just like why is it doing that because like in aliens it makes sense because they kind of explain it yeah but like you remember all the characters are like you remember parker who's just in it for the money man yeah. we, ain't, we ain't doing this unless we're getting paid him and uh brett that is my favorite guy in this movie he's like hey man where's my bonus check well, let's talk about this bonus. We got to land. I'm not getting paid for this. If you don't land, you lose all your money. Hey, hey. we're doing this. <laughs> Sounds like us at work. <laughs> it's perfect. And then you also had Ash, who is the android in the movie, or you don't really know he's an android until towards the end of the film. Which, which he's like the sketchy guy in this movie. There's always yeah. like that one dude that you were suspicious throughout the entirety of the movie. We have him. And I think he did an awesome job. Who is also Bilbo Baggins in the uh, Lord of the Rings movie. How did they shrink him in that movie like that? Did he give him like some kind of medicine where he shrunk? Science? God, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> in the magical land of make-believe. <laughs> yeah, what's cool about the plot though is that it actually is a very tenseful movie. Especially for being in the setting of space. I know, like, you, you hear a lot of people talk about it, but it's one of the best haunted house movies. Because the entire atmosphere in the movie is even creepy. Because it's like these people live on this spaceship. But to our eyes, I would never want to go there. Never, ever, never. No. It is horrifying. And considering how huge that ship is. Yeah, even before the alien even showed up. You get into some of those scenes, like, especially, like, uh, when Brett's looking for the cat and he's just walking around in whatever that area is. And you just see, like, stuff's dripping and there's chains for reasons hanging around all over the place. No. <laughs> some Clyde Barker stuff's gonna happen in there. <laughs> oh, my God, that is so true when you think about it. Yeah, it's, well, there's so many sections, too. Like, it's just, like... The ship's dark most of the time for reasons they can't afford lights, I guess. <laughs> I understand. Even in the uh, the piloting area, super dark. Why? Eh. Ambiance. But it works really well for the movie, because when you watch most like sci-fi movies at that time and even after, because a lot of people's like big sci-fi experience would be Star Wars. Star yeah. Wars, Star Trek, that kind of stuff. But everything's like bright, colorful, stuff's going on. You want to be in there. Not in the alien world. Not at all. Oh, actually, I wouldn't mind It's even there. weird. The ship even looks weird. It's got stuff poking out in areas that you, you don't really understand. I wouldn't mind being in an alien movie. That'd be awesome. Just give me a smart gun with infinite ammo, though. 
You mean like in Colonial Marines where you just stand in a corner and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> That would have been me. <laughs> I would have been fine oh, with that. Man. Colonial Marines. I love that PvP. I know a lot of people hated it, but I enjoyed it. But then again, I played with a few people and we would just like, just camp the crap out of corners <laughs> with that smart gun. Yeah, that's how you win, man. Yeah, and then when you're nailing, you just shoot spit at things on top of the roof. What else do we like about the plot? Other than everything. Moving on to the next special effects. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, well, move on to the suits, because we have a suit in this movie. Weird. I don't know, right? It's still kind of a monster movie. We call it Kaiju. Because we have the Xenomorph. One, sadly. Well, one. only one. Which, <laughs> uh, in this film, he's... More in like a jet black color scheme. A lot of gloss going over top of him. A lot of slime. Looks awesome. If you guys haven't seen it, Google it. <laughs> I'll have a picture for that. Can I Can I say one negative thing about that? I, I know. I know. But my fan size of this says, this is 10 out of 10. Best movie ever. But then you're here to talk about this movie. Yeah, we're so. reviewing it as if we were watching it nowadays. Yeah, so now I gotta say something negative about this. God, I cannot stand all the slime in that movie that comes out of that alien's mouth. There's that one scene where he does that super Godzilla thing, that, you know? Like... Yeah. And it is literally, <laughs> literally like a faucet just coming out of every hole on its face, as mouth, nose, the side cheeks, just all like pouring down. And I was like, more grossed out than scared. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know, it never really bothered me. If anything, the design for the alien is awesome, even yeah. in this movie. Granted, I like it a little bit better in Aliens, but this one's actually really cool. It has the skull underneath the dome, which you don't get to see it too well in the movie for the most part, but it is there. Yeah, you can see it. You like... Can, like, There's some shots you get to see it pretty well, but for the most part, it's done. the alien's done really awesomely. Issue with it, though, is in the film, it's not very mobile. Unlike most of the rest of the films you'll see out of the Alien series, with it pretty much like you get the scenes where it's like. There's that one scene <laughs> I was going to talk about. Literally, like the suit is walking, he's just like. Yeah, he just looks like a robot in that thing. For the most part. There are some cool scenes, like when he comes, like when he's hanging on the ceiling and he, like, reaches down and grabs the guy. And when he's kind of, like, flailing about when Ripley activates the, uh,. Whatever it was, yeah, when he it looks was, like a fire extinguisher. When he was sleeping in her ship, yeah, it's like the depressurize the ship or whatever. Yeah, and he's like starts flying around there. But for the most part, when you just see the alien, it's very slow moving, which is kind of cool because it helps to build the tension. Because like, but then again, when you see the aliens later on in the movies, they just kind of just tackle things. <laughs> yeah, but in this one, it was just like the girl screaming. He's just like, it's like ah. Makes me feel like I'm watching Austin <laughs> Powers where the guy's like, I'm crashing this very slowly. Watch out, you guys. Or Deadpool on top of the uh, Zamboni. Yeah. You tell me right now or I'll kill you in five minutes. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, you got to die by a Zamboni. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Which, again, helps to build tension, but it's not very consistent with what we get later on in the series. But yeah, H.R. Geiger, H.R. Geiger, however you want to pronounce it, did an awesome job on that suit. Especially when we see the artwork and stuff for it. Looks really cool though. I really, I even like the skeletal feature that it has, and yet still being slightly humanoid. So it's something that, like, when you look at it, you can envision yourself in it yeah. somewhat. But there's enough strange things going on where it makes it seem alien. Because out of the entire series, I say this one is the most hardcore horror movie out of the bunch. Yeah. We talk about acting. This movie's hit and miss in acting. I think the acting is actually pretty good for the, the majority of it. Other than Lambert's character, I like. I don't think she did bad in the movie. I just find the character annoying. She's the bad part of this movie. Every scene, like where she appears, besides the first few scenes where like she's sitting down eating, like when she's not angry, let's just put it that way, or scared, her character is fine. But then like she starts like over exaggerating everything. Point being, when uh, what's that guy's name? Where the thing busts out of his chest? Kane. When Kane's lay, when Kane's laying down and the thing's busting out of his chest, guy did phenomenal job on acting, right? Oh yeah, it was amazing. And then like she, like the camera goes to her and she's just like, hey. well, you know that reaction was actually real because uh, when the chest burster was coming out, 
nobody expected to go be that dramatic. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess they, um, if I remember it, they didn't even really tell the cast, the crew, what was happening. So when it just went off, that's everybody's just kind of just doing their thing. So she, they didn't know the thing was actually going to be like, blood everywhere. So she's just a horrible person in, in, in <laughs> general. Just, eh, yeah. The thing in her. Yeah, that's, that's how she was. Like, I couldn't stand her. Favorite scene is when Ripley's in her underwears and her butt crack is just hanging out. She's bending over, typing the stuff on a computer. I was like, yeah. 1970 styles, baby. But then again, it's also the 1970 style. And you see her turn around. <laughs> and we all know where the horror part was, people. <laughs> Bam. It's just like, man, High Def is not doing this movie well no, anymore. It was not. But other than that, everybody did a phenomenal job acting on this Yeah, movie. everybody else was fine. It's just, I don't know, like Steve says, it's, I just don't like her character, like. Yeah, it's just, like, the one little hiccup in the movie, which, you kind of, like, there's always that annoying character, though, in the movie. There's almost always, so. That's my major complaint with the acting, so be it. Yeah. And then, finally, we'll move on to special effects, which we just talked about probably one of the most memorable scenes is the chestburster bopping, uh, popping out of Kane's chest. I think it was amazing when he popped out and he, like, starts breathing. You can see, like, the little gills on the side. I was like... Yeah, you see, like, the tail kind of, like, wrap, like, uncoiling and it's, like, looking around. The only thing is, is when it goes, man, off the table, <laughs> the man part, sweet. When it's going, eh, off the table, nowadays isn't the best thing ever. I'm pretty sure if you stop it, zoom in, you can see the wheels underneath it or something. I'm pretty sure they just pull it like out of strings. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Here's that. Yeah. It's it's still cool, but it's one of those, like, nowadays it kind of makes me laugh a little bit when I see it. I know. For reasons. Uh, the suit in the movie is fantastic, other than just the actor wasn't very mobile in it. Or yeah. wasn't able to be mobile in it. Which I don't understand. Like, there's certain scenes where he was, and in certain scenes he's not. He's just like a robot. Yeah, like I said, I imagine it's mainly just to build tension. Oh, speaking but... of that. Hey, Steve. Steve, you know what we got to put on reserve? Hmm. I just seen that yesterday popped up on my phone. What? The light, uh, pro- a life-size prop of the alien heads. There's a warrior and a newborn. Can, can we get it? No. Come on. You can. Come on. <laughs> Steve, I need a few grand. You know what? I'll just stick with uh, NECA put out the first image of the Mantis alien. Oh, which, no doubt. As soon as I can reserve that, I'm done. Yeah, I'm just getting the set. Though, um, if you guys didn't know with the alien, it was originally translucent, which NECA did a figure of the prototype not too long ago. Where you could actually uh, sort of see through the alien's skin. Yeah. And it kind of had like this albino appearance to it. Which they scrapped because I guess it was really hard to film. Which would make sense because it's pretty much white on black backgrounds. So it doesn't blend in as well. Yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah, especially with like the uh, the Brett Def scene. Would have been so hard to pull that off with that kind of outfit. So I'm glad they went with what they did. Because it also helps with the rest of the film series as well. Alright, so here's another issue I had with this movie. Why in the, does she have a harpoon gun in space? Why not? Maybe there's something floating out there and you have to get it. You're not going to go out there and get it. So we're going to shoot at it with an arrow. What is this? Futurama? <laughs> we're hunting interdimensional whales out in space? Yeah. Well, like, sounds awesome. Like, she backs up in a corner, alien sleeping while she's in her little life-saving ship. And she just, like, gets in a suit and she pulls out a harpoon gun, starts loading. And I'm like, what the why do you have a harpoon gun in space? What I don't is think it this? was officially a harpoon gun. But <laughs> it was a fucking harpoon gun. Yeah, it was. There's a lot of really cool settings in this movie. What's also really cool, too, is the variety. Yeah. Because, like, the spaceship and the ship that they go down on, mostly the same, but there's, like, slight differences. But then when you get to that planet, that planet looks pretty different than what we've seen in most movies. It's... Kind of similar to, like, I'd say, like, Dune, in a sense. Yeah. Because it's pretty much just a bunch of hills and black sand everywhere. But a lot of rock outcroppings. But then you get to the ship. 
was the ship is one of the most strangest things I've ever seen in a movie, especially at the time when I was watching it as a kid. I was like, how does that fly? It has no wings. It's crazy. But then they get into the ship. It's like a boomerang. You just pick it up and throw it and just goes... <laughs> I imagine that too. It's just like hooked onto like a rubber band. They just let it go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, yeah. So, and there's one they get onto the ship. And you kind of get the, the semblances of what the alien structure is going to look like. And even for what the hive is going to look like later on in the series. Yeah. And it's really cool to actually get to see that. And then you get brought back to that when you get to go see Prometheus. So, like... I, oh, yeah, the other prop, too. The eggs are sweet. I even like, too, that you actually kind of see the little face huggers on the inside of it before it comes out. It looks disgusting, but it's awesome. That was awesome, actually. Yeah, even when it, like, goes... Like, how did it get through the mess? Like, it had to do that much pressure to go through? You just stole my thing. I was going to say, I get it. It's like, it has acid or blood. But how did it get through that mask? Like, yeah. it's like, instantly just attached and just went, like, whoosh. Through it. Which you think all that would have just went into his face. Yeah. When he did that. So, that part always kind of threw me off a little bit. And we... Granted, I don't know what really they were actually making, like, the visor material out of, but... Can be glass, because, you know, it'll break out there, you know? Yeah. It's got to take a lot of pressure. I imagine, like, plastic, like, a form of plastic. Yeah. Plus, it's got to take a lot of pressure out there. Yeah. So, to conclude this review, I love the movie Alien. It's my second favorite in the series. Second favorite, Steve? Second favorite. It should be your third favorite. It should be Alien Resurrection, Aliens, and then Alien. Oh, this guy. <laughs> the jokes. There's only one thing that makes Alien Resurrection amazing. What is it, Steve? Ron Perlman? Oh, okay, we're back uh, in. We're back in. Okay. okay, never mind. I, th <laughs> I thought we lost the vibe here for a second. I was like, this is it. This is over. I can't condone this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the film Alien is awesome, though. It's one of the best horror movies, if not the best horror movie ever made. I, I gotta be honest. Like, I saw the Aliens when I was little, and I was scared shitless. Okay. Oh yeah, we never really did talk about that, because when I saw it, it was terrifying. Yeah. Because even, I saw, when I was younger, I saw Aliens first. Yeah. And then I saw Alien. And Ooh. I'm like, so how can they make the Aliens... Which I thought just looked cool in Aliens, which yeah. is why I started like collecting all the Kenner toys and whatnot. Oh, I was like, oh, why don't you watch the first one? I'm like, okay. Nope, couldn't sleep for days. Yeah, Aliens was terrifying. And then I also seen like Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and all those were scary, but yeah. not as close as Alien was like, you know. Nah, for me, the only real movies that have competed with it in terms of scares, even nowadays... Would probably be the original Exorcist. I thought it was pretty scary when I first saw that. And to be honest, I think that's really about it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, because I re clearly remember watching this movie that scared up and shit out of me. I saw, I remember watching Aliens and I was very terrified. And then I saw all the other ones and I was like, okay, it's scary, but not scary. I remember, I you're going to laugh. I watched The Ring for the first time in a movie theater, <laughs> and I was freaking scared of that movie. I When I saw that movie, I remembered Alien. Because when that chick came out of that TV, I was like, nope, <laughs> nope, I'm done. Are your final thoughts on Alien? Alien doesn't need final thoughts. It will never end. The movie will just keep going, man. Well, yeah, they're going to keep beating it into the ground for us. Hopefully the new one brings a little bit of life back into it. Heck, I didn't even accept another Alien vs. Predator movie, because I really didn't mind those. Oh, we, we, we can't talk about those. Those are movies are... are We're going to get so much for right, right there, Steve. Can't wait. Because, because we... <laughs> we might do one or two together. We, we like we like those movies, so it's, people are going to hate us for that stuff. Because we're going to be like, oh, man, you got to go see that movie. And everybody's like, you guys are stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, the movie's got problems, but I enjoy it. But anyways, let us know in the comment section below what you guys saw of the movie Alien. And help us defeat those guys just by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.